Hi everyone, Jack here again for VIP Vision. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of event linking. Now, event linking is the process of taking events or actions that happen to either a camera or a recorder and using those actions to trigger either a camera or a recorder to do something, sort of like an if this then that type of a, a, an action. Now, that could be as simple as when a camera sees motion, um, it triggers recording on the, the recorder, whether that be an NVR or a CVR or something like that. Um, it could even be something more complex, like uh, when a camera sees a video tripwire event, spin a pan, tilt, zoom camera around to look at where that video tripwire event should have happened. Okay. Um, of course, there's, there's multitudes of other things that we can link in. So um, it depends on the, the, whether a camera's got inputs or a recorder's got inputs or outputs, things we can turn lights on and off. Um, there's heaps of things that you can do in this video. I'm just going to go over the basics and I'm going to go through two separate things that we can do. So the first thing that I'm going to go over is using this camera here to trigger on a detection of a face to spin a pan silt zoom camera around and look to where that face is. Okay. And then the second thing I'm going to do is just using the one pan tilt zoom camera. I'm going to use an input from that pan tilt zoom camera to trigger the pan tilt zoom camera to spin around and look at a door. So let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned, I've got this camera right here. This is our fixed or motorized camera, but it's not our pan tilt zoom camera. That's this one here. This is going to be performing the face detection in our first step. Uh, this is the pan tilt zoom camera, as I mentioned, and this is what's going to be spinning around in the first step. And in the second step or the second um, demonstration, I'm going to be using these two inputs here or this single input and the ground wire on this pan tilt zoom camera to trigger an event which will make the pan tilt zoom camera connect to a preset or move to a preset. So just to show you the back of the recorder while we're here, just to indicate what we've actually got set up here. So as you can see, we've just got these two cameras connected directly to the power of our ethernet ports on this seventh generation professional series network video recorder, eight channel. Um, they could just as easily be coming in through the ethernet port if we had this set up on a separate network switch down here. Um, and as you can actually see, now that we're going over event linking, there's actually inputs and outputs on the back of this recorder as well. So we could, if we wanted to, use those inputs and outputs um, for events. So we could trigger an output on, let's say, um, motion detection. We could trigger one of these outputs to turn on the light, for instance. Um, or we could trigger one of the, on input, we could trigger one of the PTZs to spin around to a location, similar to what we're going to do in the second step of this. Okay, so I'm just going to jump across to the recorder now. And here we go. And here we go. I'll just spin that one around. around. So this so is our, this fixed, is our camera fixed camera here that you're looking, that you're looking at, right, at now. right now. And, and I'm going to I'm right, going right click, click and select, and select menu, menu and I'm going to log, log in, in with my patent my password. password. Um, um, I should probably say that I'm assuming that you've already set everything up on this recorder. Everything's functioning um, with these units as standard cameras. The pan tilt zoom camera is functioning as you would expect it to function. And um, this camera here is working correctly as well. We can see both of them and there's no problems with regard to passwords or configurations. So here so we are. Here so, we are. so what we need is so the so operation, the operation input input and setting. setting this main menu. What we need is setting and then events. events. Okay. okay. So I select, so I select event. event. Now there's a number now, of different number things, of things that we can do, we can do for event, event looping, as, as I mentioned. So, so any, of these, any of these things down here can all be used to trigger, to trigger um, outputs, outputs and they can and also, they can also, also, also have also input, input um, functions, functions as well. As well. But, but for this particular, this particular demonstration, demonstration, all I'm going to configure, configure is, is on our D2 or our channel, channel 2, which is the one you're looking at here, this fixed camera. We're going to set up this camera so that it's on detection of a face, we'll spin a PTZ around to a certain preset. Okay. okay, so I'll just so show you which PTZ presets, presets, presets we actually, we actually have set up first. first. So, so jump across. This is the pan tilt zoom camera that we're looking at here. Okay. And I'll just show you the presets that I've already set up um, just to make this video a little bit quicker. So that's in preset nine. Preset one It's going to be looking at my face very closely. And preset two, which we'll use secondarily, is looking at the door. So I'm just going to jump back to preset nine for now and go back into the main menu and event as we did before. Now, what we need to actually configure is face detection. So the first thing that we need to do is actually set up our smart plan for our second channel. 
which is our fixed camera. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select face detection and apply. So that sets our smart plan. The second thing we need to do is actually configure the face detection, not face recognition, okay, but just face detection. And D2, which is our second channel, is already selected from the drop down here, which is our fixed camera. I'm gonna enable that. And I'm going to, without actually having to change any of the other rules or anything, I'm just gonna to have to set, or leave the period, set a PTZ activation. Okay, so I click this one here and go setting and select a preset and select preset one and okay. Now what's gonna happen is when this camera detects when this camera detects my face, it's gonna then spin this camera around to look at my face. So the idea would be, picture if we had a scenario where this camera was out quite wide, okay, this fixed camera was out looking at a wide area, but um, when I detected a face, I knew that it was a face coming through a doorway or something like that, and I wanted to spin the car camera around to look at the doorway or look at the window or look at wherever you're expecting for this camera here to see the face. Okay, so um, that actually is all we have to do to set this up. Um, but if you want to just take a look at down through some of the other things that we can activate through here So we could have we've done PTZ activation obviously recording channels is something that I mentioned before we can do um, Our alarm outputs we can trigger an alarm output maybe to set a light or a siren off or something like that on detection of a face um, We could take a snapshot We could set a tour on the recorder. So the recorder itself. No, this is not a PTZ tour. This is the recorder actually um, basically displaying a particular camera or a particular um, tour on the recorder itself. Uh, we can log, okay, so it's set up to log by default, just leave that on. Voice prompts, we can actually set the recorder up to play a, an audio message, um, whether that be through just HDMI to alert the person that's watching the recorder that something's happening, or we could actually play it out speakers and um, that would give us a much, you know, um, an interesting thing to do where we could play back um, you know siren tones or, or you know someone telling someone to get out of the room or something like that um, and buzzer I'm gonna check buzzer down here just so that you get a bit of an order audible indication of what's gonna happen um, when this camera detects a face okay so I'm gonna apply that and tilt the camera away from myself so that it doesn't actually do anything just to confirm everything's been applied okay I'm gonna right click and now I'm going to show this other camera here. Now I'm going to set it all the way back here. And we're going to and wait we're for it to wait. take my face. face. And there we go. There we go. And, and as you can, as you can see, see, this PTZ camera spun, spun around. around. And, and just to show, just you, to show that you that again, again what I'm going to do, do is, is I'll just do a four-way view here so you can see both cameras. And I'm going to cover up this so that it can't see my face and spin the PTZ around again back to preset 9 just so that it goes away from here there we go okay now I'm going to let it see my face again and there you go it's as simple as that so that's the first step Okay, that's the first first indication. So we used a, a fixed camera here, which is gonna keep beeping on me until it stops seeing my face. Um, this camera here is gonna trigger this PTZ camera here to spin around to look at something. Now the second thing that we were gonna go over was using the inputs on the PTZ camera to have the PTZ camera move somewhere, the pan tilt zoom camera to move and spin around to look at something. So I'm gonna paint a scenario out for you. Imagine you had a doorway and that doorway, um, you had a reed switch on the doorway. So you've mounted a reed switch on the doorway and every time the door opens that reed switch triggers. What we can actually do is every time the doorway opens we can have this pan tilt zoom camera here spin around and look at the doorway. So we don't necessarily need to use a camera to do event linking, we can actually use inputs to do event linking. Okay, Whether that be on a camera such as the, the inputs on this pan tilt zoom camera here or through a recorder with inputs. Okay, So let's just jump back to the recorder again. Okay. So I'm just going to tilt this camera over here just so that it doesn't see me anymore since we're only going to be working with the pan tilt zoom camera. So right click, select events again. So just to go through that main menu, event. And in this case, we're actually going to be looking at alarm. Okay, we're going to be looking at alarm input 
And we have a few different options in here, local alarm being alarms that are on the recorder itself, net alarm being um, events that are triggered when something goes wrong network wise. Um, IPC alarm is the one that we're looking for, or IPC EXT, so external alarms being triggered on the IP camera and IPC offline. So if an IP camera goes offline, you can trigger any of the same things that we were going over before. So I'm gonna jump back and go to IPC external again. Okay, so if we take a look here, we've got channel D1, which is our pan tilt zoom camera. You can see down the bottom of the screen here, channel D1. And what we're gonna want channel D1 to do is on a normally open input, okay? So the input is open until the read switch closes, okay? So that we're gonna assume this is a normally open read switch on the door. We can name the alarm. So I'm gonna just call it test for now, but obviously you could name this door if you wanted to. Period, we're gonna leave alone. That's if you wanted it only to work for certain parts of the day. Alarm output, we could trigger a light or something like that on the alarm input of the camera. Um, we can show messages and things like that, but what we actually wanna do is pan tilt zoom activation as with before. So setting again, preset, and this time I'm gonna select preset two on the pan tilt zoom camera. Here we go, okay, and apply. So just to go over that again, um, we have enabled it, set it to normally open, set pan tilt zoom activation to preset two and left everything else the same. Again, I'm gonna click buzzer here just so that we know when the input's been triggered and I'm gonna click apply and right click, right click one more time. And I'm gonna send the pan tilt zoom camera back to presets nine so that it stops looking at my face. Oops, sorry, let's do that again. Preset nine. Okay. So now I'm gonna trigger these wires as if they were the door switch. Okay, the read switch that's on the door. So, I'm not sure if you can see from here, but we have an earth wire and we have a, it's a little bit hard to see here, but we have a red alarm input wire. Okay, this PTZ actually has two alarm inputs. I'm using the first alarm input and all I'm gonna actually do is touch these two wires together and when we do that, we're gonna see that the pan tilt zoom camera moves. There you go. So it's spun around and it's actually looking at the door. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send it back to pan tilt zoom preset nine using the recorder itself. And I'm gonna cut across to the recorder view again, just so that you can see what happens when I touch these wires together. So three, two, one, touching the wires, door is closed the door is opened and we're going to look at the door one more time three two one touching the wires together now and there you go okay so i hope that's been helpful um, obviously we've gone over a couple of different things for event linking there's there's huge numbers of different things that you can do with event links um, we've really just scratched the surface um, in previous in future videos i'll go over these in a little more depth um, but for now hopefully that's giving you some insight as to what you can actually achieve with these recorders um, as always if you've got any questions comments please leave them below um, anything you'd like us to cover certainly leave a message below and we'll endeavor to get onto that soon thanks for watching